Hello, this is Vanessa Storak. Welcome to this module called How to find the best keywords for your app, where I'll explain you the importance of keywords for app store optimization. Why you're in done when the app is in the store? I'll have the answer. There are more than 2 million apps in the stores and you don't want to be lost. I suppose that you all know are wondering, can I really do something to stand out and make money with my apps? The answer is yes. All you need to achieve is exposure and conversions. Two strange words that will help you get downloads and earnings from your app in the store. Let me explain their meaning. Exposure is how many times your app is visible in the store. Conversion is, out of them, how many people have downloaded your app. How can I improve your app exposure? With a good communication. And how can I improve your app conversions with a good design? And you can only get exposure and conversions if you invest in promoting your app. One way of promoting your app is by doing app store optimization. That means improving your app name, app icon, app screenshots, app description, app reviews, and app keywords. You can also promote your app outside the store with a web page, social media strategy, advertising, or PR campaigns. Today, we are going to focus on the app keywords, and you'll see why. Keywords can improve your app findability and improve your app exposure, which means that your app rank also improves. So, in people's searches, your app appears in the first results. The higher the ranking of your app, the more downloads it gets. So, keywords help you to boost the downloads and sales of your app. Let's see where we can use the keywords so we can achieve better downloads. First of all, we use them in the store. On one side, the Apple Store only lets you introduce 100 characters of keywords. On the other side, we don't have such a space in Android Store. So we can use keywords in, for example, the app name. Introducing keywords in the app name can improve your position in average from 80 to 100 spots. So instead of calling, for example, an app Documents to Go, we should introduce also the keyword Office, since many people will look in the store any app that can be used as the desktop Microsoft Office. In Android stores only, we can also use keywords in the app description, and it will affect positively in, a, in your app rank, improving from 1 to 20 spots. Don't repeat more than 5 times the same keyword in the description, thinking that this strategy will help you. Google punishes this action. Use keywords in the description without abusing. So, we've seen that we can use keywords in the store, in the app name, and in the app description. And if these keywords are outstanding keywords, our app rank will improve considerably. And so, the downloads and sales of our mobile app will increase. Let's see how we can find good keywords. It is recommended to start by making them up. Use your imagination and think about the words that people may use to look for your app. Then brainstorm with some colleagues, since group creativity always brings us surprises. Don't forget to do some research and benchmark among your competitors to see if they are using interesting keywords that you may also use. Don't forget to use professional tools to find the best keywords. Why? Because we search in a different way in mobile than in our desktop. I like AppCode's application because they suggest relevant and useful information. However, they are only available for the Apple App Store. If you have Android apps, you can use Mobile Dev HQ instead. Let's see how we can use AppCode's application to improve our keywords. In this case, I want to improve the keywords for Let's Basket app a statistics basketball app that allows you to track all data from all your basketball matches. So, all keywords will be related to this subject. The first thing we have to do to start working with app codes is importing our app. Let's copy and paste the link of our iTunes URL. We have also to choose in which store we want to improve our keywords. In this case, I want to improve the position for the United States store. Then we have to paste at least five keywords that we have made up.
and click Submit. Now we are in the main page of AppCodes. The first things we see is the app title. As I mentioned early, app name can be up to 255 characters, but only 25 are visible. We decided to introduce more words as they act as keywords. If our app is already in the store, we can paste our current keywords here. In the main area of app codes, we can see the analysis of the keywords that we have pasted before. The most important columns are the first one, count, which accounts for the competition for the keywords selected, and popularity, which indicates how many people are looking for the search query selected. The competition should be low and the popularity should be high. So the best keywords are those with low competition and high popularity. I prefer to start by deleting those keywords that aren't popular and then we'll find those that have no competition. So the first ones are not popular at all. So this one is not popular. It is also important to know the competition for a given keyword. To know this, let's click on a keyword with a high competition, for example, playbook. We see that in the right side of app codes appears the list of competing apps. We have to take a special account for those in the first page, which probably are those with best keywords. So we follow some of these competitors. We can also try to search as we were in the App Store and observe the results. Which competitors appear? Well, we see that most of them are related to our subject, so they are all competitors. We can follow them to see the, the revolution and see the exact keywords that they are using. But how can we know the exact keywords that they are using? In the competitors area, we see all the competitors that we follow. App codes not only suggest the keywords that these competitors are using in their app description and names, but also those keywords that they are using in their iTunes keywords. We have to consider these suggestions and repeat the process once and again. The keyword search it's not a one-time job. We should keep trying and reiterating the process once and again until we have high-value keywords. And remember that we should at least repeat the keyword search every time that we launch a new version of our app. To sum up, I would like to recall you that to make your app to stand out, it's important to invest at least the same resources in development and promotion. Good keywords can increase your app rank position and consequently the visibility of your app. There are different ways to search these keywords, and we've seen some of them. Keyword search is not one-time job. We should do it every time we launch a new version of our, our app. Always remember, good keywords don't translate directly into good sales. Thank you very much for your attention, and if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me by email or Twitter.